Now, if like many of us, you're planning to have a sort out this bank holiday, Stacey Solomon's continuing her new series, helping us get organized. Today, she has simple tricks to transform our drawers. As much as I love a little organized, there is always one thing that sends you over the edge. Welcome to my nemesis, wires. Everybody, and I mean everybody, I don't care what you say, has a drawer or a basket that looks like this. Why? <laughs> the first time I organized my wire drawer, so many revelations. You don't need a Nokia 3310 charger from 72 years ago that you will never use again. The best thing that you can do is just start one wire at a time. Once you can see all of your wires out in front of you, put to the side any obsolete charges that you don't use anymore, wires that you look at and think I have no idea what this is for. I buy these little cable clips and they stick down to the surface. So I put them inside the drawer and then I will take the very front of it and put it into this clip so I can see exactly what that wire does, what I use it for, and then the rest is wrapped neatly around. If you've got chargers or leads or wires that you genuinely don't need, ring up your local phone shop, electrical shop. Sometimes they take in old chargers and stuff if they're selling old phones. And then there are specific recycle wire points near you. So that is it. What you're hoping for in the end is to not have this anymore and instead have this. Woo, how attractive is that? I can hear everyone at home just thinking, I need this in my life. Okay, these little wire clips have sticky pads on the back and you can just stick them directly into your drawer. And then if they're, some of the wires are quite stiff, so if they're not sticking together and staying in a bunch, I'll just use a cable tie to tighten them up. And now I can see exactly what's in there. I can see the heads of every single wire, so I know what they go to. Do they go to the phone, the PlayStation, is it HDMI? And I just don't end up spending two hours searching for a lead or a cable. And that is it. Done. But this drawer is not over yet. Often found among the wires in the drawer are batteries. This is my battery heaven. Oh. <laughs> now some people might think this is a pointless piece of equipment, but actually I had a load of loose batteries in the drawer and I thought, oh, I'll just sort of get them all together and put them in a box. Your batteries, positive and negative touch, and some house fires are caused by leaking batteries and stuff, so it's actually really dangerous. I found a battery case, and now you can organize all your batteries. So I think rechargeable batteries are the way forward. It's less wastage, you're not throwing away batteries all the time. So, never a Christmas goes by when someone says, have you got a battery small enough for my Tamagotchi? I have every battery going, what do you want? Double A's, triple A's, big fat ones, little skinny discs, you name it, I've got it. <laughs> and I'm getting so much joy from this. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.